The show starts off in the year 2022 with a young woman named Shi Yi standing on the ledge of a bridge. She is very distraught and wishes to travel back in time with a boy named Sha before jumping off the bridge. As soon as she touches the water, Yi is teleported to a different setting. She finds herself back home, where her head is submerged in a basin of water and her younger brother behind her. Yi then realizes that she has traveled back in time to the year 2008, to the day of her high school final exams. A flashback reveals that this past event was a prank pulled by her younger brother. Yi was often bullied by him, as he was favored by their mother. To make matters worse, her mother unknowingly gave her expired medicine, which led to Yi failing her exams. From that point onwards, her life just went downhill. However, now Yi has a second chance and she finally defends herself against her brother. Invigorated, she enters her old room, knowing that she now holds all the answers to the exam. Suddenly, her father appears behind her, and another flashback reveals that right after Yi's final exams, he was in an accident which resulted in him being paralyzed from the waist down. So, in order to change the series of events leading up to the accident, she tightly hugs her father and tells him that she doesn't need him to drive her to school that day. Yi then goes outside and sees Sha waiting for her on a bicycle. She excitedly approaches him and heads to school with him. Yi breezes through her final exams and finishes ahead of everyone else. Afterwards, while running to meet Sha, she accidentally bumps into a girl named Shen Zhang. Then she sees Yang, the man who will become her abusive husband. Surprisingly, he is about to give a bouquet of flowers to Shan Chan. Knowing his true nature, Yi confidently opens the trunk of Yang's car, revealing a bunch of flowers meant for other girls. She exposes him in front of the whole school, making Yang furious. In retaliation, he threatens to hurt Yi. Sha intervenes and defuses the situation. Before leaving, however, Yi makes sure to kick Yang in the balls. On their way back home, Yi witnesses an explosion at the factory where her dad works, so they rush towards it. However, they are confronted by Yang and his delinquent friends, who attempt to capture and hurt both of them. Sha doesn't let this slide and holds off the attackers, allowing Yi to escape. While Yang has a go at Sha, the latter is suddenly transported into the past, exactly 180 days before the final exams, and finds himself participating in the pre-exam physical examination. A flashback reveals that he was completely out of shape, and as a result, he failed the physical exam. Examination. Being the only one in his class to fail the physical exam, he narrates about how he became the laughing stock of the school and slipped into a depression. A glimpse into the future reveals that Shaw is diagnosed with cancer because of his unhealthy lifestyle. He then snaps back to reality, and after seeing his outcome, he begs his physical examiner to give him a second chance for the exam. He also meets Yi for the first time, who offers to help him practice for the upcoming final exams. So, Shaw finally changes his habits and also starts learning coding on the side. Eventually, he he is able to pass his physical exam, making him eligible to take the final exams. One day, he visits a cyber cafe with one of his buddies and waits for someone outside. Shortly after, the manager of the cyber cafe exits the building, and Shaw introduces himself as the creator of a specific game. It's revealed that the game he has made has become very popular, so the manager is thrilled to see him. After some discussion, the two come to an agreement for the purchase of the game rights. The movie then cuts back to the day where Yi and Shaw are ambushed by Yang. As the former runs away, it's revealed that in the future, her parents pressure her to leave Shaw for Yang, as he is rich and can provide for her family. After making it to the road, she finds her father on his way to the factory to help the injured. To prevent his inevitable accident, Yi begs him not to go, but he doesn't listen. So, she accompanies her father to the factory, only to find out that the police have closed off the road, restricting access inside. Yi's intervention works and after seeing his injured colleagues, she returns home with her devastated father. A few days later during dinner, Yi's best friend, Chen, visits her home. Upon seeing her, Yi burst into tears. It turns out that in the alternate future, Chen became depressed after getting low marks in her final exams. Due to this, she wandered off in the middle of the night and was unfortunately murdered. One day, Sha enters a car dealership with his friend, intending to buy an expensive car. Shortly after, Yang also shows up with his girlfriend and starts to mock Sha, saying he can't afford to buy a vehicle. Wanting to prove him wrong, Sha tells the showroom manager that he wants the exact car Yang has his eyes on. After signing a few documents, Sha brings in the cash he got from selling his online game, leaving Yang in shock. The movie then cuts to the day of the exam results. All the students receive their results, and Chen is in shambles while Yi tries to console her. In the evening, the two are still together, but when Yi exits the bathroom, Chen is nowhere to be found. She is actually wandering around the town at night, not wanting to face her parents. Chen soon discovers that she is being followed and immediately phones Yi. However, the mysterious man grabs her from behind, making her scream in fear. Sha and Yi hear her screams and arrive just in time to save her from the attacker, and they call the police. 
The next day, Shaw goes to Yi's place to invite her to an event, but gets shocked to see Yang outside. The two then get into an argument, which is broken up by the girls shortly after. Shaw then orders Yang to never bother Yi again, stating that he is her boyfriend. Hearing this, the latter is shocked, but nonetheless, she also backs up his statement. Dejected, Yang finally leaves, but he promises that it isn't over. The same night, all of Shaw's friends gather to watch the Olympic Games at his home. As they talk, Shaw and Yi get suspicious of each other, so the latter takes him outside. They then reveal to each other that they have come from the future. Yi also informs Shaw that she has applied to her ideal university. The scene then fast forwards to a few weeks later when Yi receives her official admission letter from the university. Shaw immediately shows up and reveals that he also applied to the same university and has received the admission letter, surprising her. After a few days, the two pack their bags and head to the university. Unfortunately, Yang has also found out that they are from the future. He had been in an accident and while he was unconscious, everything was revealed. So, in an attempt to win Yi over, Yang conspires with his ex-girlfriend, Shan Shan. One day, Sha informs Yi that he has been invited to Shan Shan's birthday party. She is hesitant to let him go, as it is the exact place that Sha got together with Shan Shan. However, as Sha is also aware of this, he decides to go to make sure that it doesn't happen. So, later that night, Sha arrives at the birthday party to inspect. However, things take a drastic turn when he is forced to drink a lot of alcohol by Shan Shan, while Yang confronts Yi and reveals that he knows about their future. Shortly after, Shaw gets very drunk, but despite this, he refuses all of Shan Shan's attempts to seduce him and rejects her in front of everyone. The next day, Yi is again confronted by Yang during a walk, but this time, Shaw intervenes and gets him to leave. As he backs off, Yang is unexpectedly hit by a car. He is rushed to the hospital where the doctor informs Zhang's parents that his mental condition is found to be unstable, and so he must be sent to a psychiatric ward. We then learn that the previous night, Yang had revealed to Shan Shan that she had broken Shaw's heart in the future as his wife. He then forces her to win Shaw over at any cost so that he can be with Yi. The same afternoon, Shan Shan spots her father inside the hospital with another woman. She angrily confronts him for having an affair and takes pictures of both of them. In the heat of the moment, her father hits her, causing Shan Shan to hit her head and fall unconscious. Meanwhile, Shaw surprises Yi with tickets to her favorite singer's concert. Elsewhere, Chen and Shan Shan are together in a bar when the latter suddenly calls a few of her random friends. They force Chen to drink alcohol and even drug her. Shortly after, Yi receives a call from Chen, who shakily informs her of the situation. Worried, Yi rushes to find her friend. In the next scene, she eventually finds Chen inside the bar, unable to move because of the drugs. Unfortunately, it turns out to be a trap as the men quickly surround Yi and try to capture her. Things look very bleak for our protagonist, but just then, Shaw arrives at the scene with his friends and saves both the girls. After the incident, Shaw finally asks Yi to be his girlfriend, to which she agrees, and they officially start dating. Several weeks later, Yang is discharged from the hospital, but he is still obsessed with Yi. So, he kidnaps Yi's brother, pretending to be her boyfriend. Meanwhile, Yi and Sha announce their relationship to her parents. This is when the family realizes that the person who called her brother is actually an imposter. Panicked, they set out to find him, and after a while, Yi gets a text from her brother revealing his location. She rushes to the place where Yang and his gang are waiting for her. Yi then informs her brother that Yang has been lying to him and that he is just a bully. Hearing this, the brother becomes furious and starts fighting with the gang. In the ensuing tussle, Yi is accidentally hit on the head with a bat, knocking her unconscious. As her brother looks in shock, the goons quickly flee the scene. In the next scene, Yi is admitted to the hospital while Shaw finds out about her situation and vows to avenge her. He decides to write an article about Yang's family business. It's revealed that his family has been running scams and swindling tons of money. Filled with rage, Yi exposes them, and not long after, both Yang and his father are arrested by the police. Following this, Yi is discharged from the hospital, and at the same time, Sha receives a message from Shan Shan. The three of them head to a special wishing tree, and it turns out that the tree is responsible for bringing them all into the past. Shan Shan explains that she too traveled back into the past. In the alternate future, Yi, Shan Shan, Shi, and Yang are all unhappy with their lives after being forced into marrying the wrong person. Shan Shan had always liked Yang, and the latter was also fond of her in the future. So, they all wish to travel back in time, and as a result, their futures have been permanently changed for the better. The show ends as Shaw and Yi spend the rest of their university years together, happily and peacefully, after changing the outcomes of their futures. They also get married.